Welcome back to Drive System 5. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm here in Bowling Green, Kentucky in front of the infamous yellow Sky Dome at the Corvette Museum. I've got the 2021 Red Mist C8. I got my buddy Adams 2021 Silver Flare C8 back there. We just filmed a comparison video between the two of those. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. But while I was here, I thought it'd be fun to show you some of the coolest features of the Chevrolet Corvette C8. Let's go ahead and take a look. First off, let's just take a second to admire this beautiful Red Mist. Got the Kentucky sun shining right down on it. Absolutely gorgeous. This is not my personal vehicle. This is a press loan from Chevrolet. I've had it for the past week, filmed a ton of videos with it. So check those out. Like I said, if you haven't already, but let's go ahead and start off up front with some of the cool little features, I guess maybe Easter eggs is what I'm gonna call it. So if you take a look here in the front light right there, you'll see the Corvette flag corvette emblem very very subtle this is kind of a outline of it and the lights are of course clear so it's hidden in there but if you know where to look then you'll see it right there every time as we work our way up to the front windshield you see here it says team corvette with the corvette flag etched in not etched in really but it's on the back side of the glass this is still smooth but it's right back there we come around to here you'll see we've got zora's head it was one of the first chief engineers performance engineers at corvette and he's got his looks to be his sunglasses on it's kind of tough to see with the speakers but you know right there is his head if you work back here so kind of cool little subtle things that you know if you don't know to look, you might not see it right off the bat. You got the flag tapering off here on the back glass from big down to small, kind of in a V-type formation, which is pretty cool, right below the rear backup camera. Let's see, work our way down through here. This is not connected. This is fully cut out. The glass just comes straight down here and you can go straight into the engine. It's perfect for airflow and cooling this 6.2 liter v8 let's work our bay back we've got a stingray emblem here now this is a cool one that i didn't know adam pointed this one out to me i overlooked this one myself take a look here in the rear tail lights tiny little clear corvette emblem right there super super subtle again you're just kind of looking at the rear Definitely wouldn't notice it in my opinion, but it's uh, right on the inside through there. So one cool feature here is the fact that you got the word Corvette etched into the wheel. These are the 19 inch bright silver aluminum painted wheels. And to open up the front, you can do it on the key fob, of course, button on the inside, or this little soft button right here. Let's give that a push. That will pop open the front trunk of this vehicle. Now there's something interesting I'd like to show you with the rear hatch of this vehicle. So back here, we'll go ahead and pop this open. And this is how far it opens normally. But you can extend it just a little bit further to give you more room to access anything back here. So that's just kind of a little handy feature. You get a little bit of bonus room back there on the extension. Now when you shut this, you get it most of the way and then it will soft close that last little bit for you, which is a nice feature. Let's go ahead and hop inside. As we do hop inside, you'll see this sticker here. It says American made. It's got the Corvette logo on it. In the bottom left, it's got the Jake's head. And then you got Zora there again. That's the same one that's up on the windshield. You got the UAW badge there. And then GM it says Bowling Green Assembly Plant. Pretty cool little uh, sticker to remind you where it's made in the beautiful state of Kentucky. And as we work our way in, we've got a Stingray logo there, and it's got little perforation dots on it. I think that'd be really cool if they put the little Corvette logo here like they've done throughout the vehicle. They'd put little miniature ones in here, but nevertheless, you got some little perforated type dots. And as we work our way up, before we do that, there's a little hidden thing up underneath here. It's a pull tab, kind of far up underneath here, and that's how you can manually release the front trunk of this vehicle. Down here in the passenger side footwell, 
there's actually a little 12 volt outlet, a little plug down there. So that's a little handy and kind of hidden feature. As we work our way up through here, you have the GT2 bucket seats in this one. Love the carbon fiber halo back here. But on this part of the speaker, there's an outline right here of the Corvette flag. You can only see it in certain lightings. So that's something uh, worth noting. Just keep an eye out for when you see the light hitting it just right. It's right here in the center. And you again, you won't see it most of the time, but in just the right lighting, you will. It says Corvette Stingray right there. And then on the inside where the wireless charging portion for the phone is, you got some Corvette flags kind of intermixed through here, right side up and upside down. Kind of a cool little texture, design language, design feature through there. And also, if you actually raise this seat forward, you'll see here on the top part of this little strap, you've got another little Corvette logo there. And then one further, I'm gonna show you the key fob here. Lots of little hidden things in this vehicle. So here's the key fob, flip it over flag there but you get a little bonus one right in there and if you can see that there you go so ton of cool little hidden features throughout the c8 hope you enjoyed let me show you one more thing too this one requires us to be driving though so as we're driving you can actually pull back on the paddles and engages the clutch essentially you can give it a rev as you're driving you can do of course do this when you're going faster but that was a little demonstration for you there but in pulling both of these in essentially engages the clutch. I'm in drive right now, but it's like I'm in neutral. So there's the startup that you get whenever you remote start the vehicle and get in for the first time. You see there, you the outline of a Corvette. This is a generic C8. It's not specifically a Z51 like the one we're in. So I'll go ahead and put on the brake. You get another logo right there vehicle's raising that's the noise you hear there now if I were to press this one more time here take a look we'll open up the door and you'll see you get a Corvette emblem flag right there and then the outline of a bigger one on the outer sides of it through there so it's kind of a cool little uh startup sequence that you get so I hope you guys enjoyed this video seeing some of the cool features I know I enjoyed kind of learning a little bit more about this vehicle over the past week if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them down in the comments section below. If you haven't already subscribed to the Drive System 5 channel, please go ahead and do so. Really appreciate all your support. This really kind of wouldn't be possible without the help and support of you guys giving this vehicle so much exposure. And you guys really, really seem to like it. So I'm going to keep bringing you guys the best content that I can possible. And again, hope you enjoyed some of the cool little hidden features on the 2021 C8 Corvette.